Hey, what's going on? Screen thumb. Uh, today we are going to be planting some of these sweet potato slips I've got here right beside me that we grew from sweet potatoes. Uh, and we're going to be, they're sitting in jars of water right now, you'll see in a second. And we're going to be putting them in some Pro Mix uh, potting soil. I think that's what it's called. Which one is this? The Pro Mix Moisture Mix. Ooh, sounds fancy. All right, so I'll uh, load the camera up onto the tripod and uh, let's get going. Okay, so like I was saying, uh, a couple of months ago, we put some sweet potatoes... Uh, half buried in soil to grow some sweet potato slips. Uh, they were doing okay, uh, but then we got a huge aphid infestation, so we cut them all off the potatoes and uh, we put them in jars of water. So, for those of you who don't know, this is a sweet potato slip. Does not look healthy at all. All right. These were gorgeous, big leaves and everything, but aphids did a lot of damage. And then when I moved the, from the homestead to here, they did not take that move very well at all. So I need to get them out of this water. I'm gonna put them in these little plastic cups. We're gonna load them up with soil. I'm gonna do all of them, even the ones like this that don't look healthy, right? It's all yellow, does not look good. But these are literally the only slips I have. So if it roots and takes, good. If it doesn't, well, I'll have to chalk it up to a loss. So let's get going here. I've got a bucket, a bucket of soil. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill them up about halfway full. And then what I'm going to do after that is I'm going to put the roots in and then I'm going to put more soil on top of them. Because it's not just like a little tiny stem with a little bit of roots that you can just kind of push into a hole. These, the roots are fairly established. We're going to be doing eight. I know it's kind of weird not being in frame. I hear you. Let's get this done here. All right, so we've got our eight little plastic pots. Gonna take out sweet potato slip. Oh yeah, look at that. Brown roots, guys, that's never a good sign. But you know, I've always told you guys that, you know, I show you guys my, my successes and my failures. And, um, you know, I'm being honest with that. You guys can see what's going on. Not everything works perfect. So, I've got it in there. And I'm sorry for the light, guys. I'm in a basement. My uh, spot where I've been filming those other videos is currently not able to be filmed in. So, so I've got it buried halfway. And we're just going to keep pushing through here. Get the rest of these in. Extra. See, this one isn't so bad. The roots are white, not brown. And everywhere on a sweet potato vine, everywhere where a leaf comes out, okay, you can get roots to grow out of that. So essentially all we're going to do is bury these suckers. And I'm going to bury them deep. I'm putting these things right down pretty much to the bottom of the cup and then I'm going to top the cups right up with soil. See, this is what I'm talking about. See right here? That's where a leaf grew out of. And we put it in the water and it grew roots. So we'll just keep going right into the cup. Cover it over. Just move it out of the way. Wonder if this one will grow. Oh, 
Does not look very good, but it's got some white roots on it. Hang on. There. And that's literally just a stem. We'll see. I guess I had more than I than I counted initially. Put these back into the cups. Push them down. I might have to go get another couple of cups of soil here. What do we got here? That's a decent root system. All right, look at that one. Digging a hole, right? Just kind of opening up a spot with my fingers. Getting all the roots down into there. Like that. And I'm not covering up all the roots. Not yet. I'll do that on the, uh, I'll do that when I top these up. Yeah, this is not, that does not look good, eh? Look at that. What do you think? Leave me a comment. Tell me if you think this one's going to survive or not. Pack that sucker down like that. Get that root in there. Move that. Move these jars. And you can also tell... You see the color of that water in there, right? These things have been in there way too long. One of the other reasons they didn't do good is because I forgot to put some fertilizer, some liquid fertilizer in with the water because I knew I would be holding these for a little while before I was able to transplant them. So I should have done this a while ago, but between moving a week ago and moving in a week from now, uh, needless to say, my life has been um, busy. And sometimes you have to prioritize what's gonna get done and what's not gonna get done. And when these potato slips were cut off the main potatoes, I had no idea if I was even going to have a place to garden this season. So. There we go. We got a little tiny fella. But it's got leaves. So I'll take it. There, see? Not much to it, and I'm literally going to fill most of these containers up to the top. Need one more. Last little one. It's tiny, but it's got a leaf on it that's green. So, we'll see. But they grow pretty extensive roots considering they were just sitting in water with uh, with no nutrients in the water. It was just literally straight up, straight up well water. So, okay. Let's get these back in frame like this. Okay, there we go. Right on, let's do this thing. One bucket of soil. And don't forget, you always have to pre-moisten your soil when you're doing things like this. Gotta make sure that, you know, your soil's already moist so that way when you go to water it, the water isn't just gonna piss right out through the bottom. Like I said here, I'm filling it right up to the top. You see that? Right to the top. And I know when I water that, it's going to settle a little bit anyways. So we'll just work our way through here. This is my first time actually growing sweet potatoes. 
They're an excellent long-term storage food. And this season, a lot of my gardening focus is going to be exactly that. Long-term food storage. Carrots, onions, uh, potatoes, and a lot of other things that I plan on canning. I'm going to do some lettuce and, you know, your general kind of kitchen, quick eating, cut and come again plants. But I'm really going to be focusing on stuff that I can save long term through obviously various methods, right? I, I can, I dehydrate, um, you know, we do all kinds of, all kinds of stuff like that. So we're, uh, that's what I'm going to be focusing on. Food shortages are real, guys, and it's getting worse. If you guys haven't checked out Ice Age Farmer's video he put out yesterday, I highly suggest... Yeah, for those of you who haven't seen uh, Ice Age Farmer's video he put out yesterday, I really suggest you uh, go and take a peek at that. Here we go. Fill that up like that. I'm almost out of soil here in my little bucket. See what happens when uh, you don't plan properly? I did measure out eight, eight little containers, but I didn't pack it in the in these little pots when I was putting it into the bucket. So now that I'm compressing it a little bit, I'm losing volume. But there's nothing to this, right? Just little stems. Just like that. Last little bit. Get some more. We're going right out of the bag. We're dipping right into the bag now. And you're thinking, oh no, his hands are filthy. How many of you people are just itching to get your hands back in the dirt again? I know I am. Can't wait. I've got 1,600 square feet of garden space to work with this season. Um... So you guys are going to be able to watch me do complete bed prep. It's going to be a market style, market garden style bed, 30 inches wide. And um, I don't know, however long the beds are. I haven't actually seen them yet. I've paid for them, but I haven't seen them yet. So we'll see. Let's lift this up a little bit there. Okay. All done. So we've got nine pots done. Leave me a note in the comment. Tell me how many of these you think are actually going to grow. You guys can see them. Some of them are pretty sketchy looking, right? But leave me a message. Tell me what you think. So I'm just going to go. I'm going to water these. And I'm going to put them in a grow tray, and um, we're just going to keep on keeping on. So, uh, like and subscribe to the videos. Leave me a comment. Do all those good things. Hit that notification bell, and uh, follow along with the channel to see what other kind of crazy stuff we get up to. All right, guys. Have a good one. Green thumb out. Peace.